بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته my brothers my sisters um, you and i know what happened in turkey syria and a few of the other places few other countries were affected as well uh, i want to start off by saying that those who say that this is a punishment of allah they have absolutely no right no authority from allah almighty to declare that there are so many innocent souls who have lost their lives children widows uh, those who are who have struggled and suffered all these years men and women and you cannot you cannot just declare that this is the punishment of allah in fact a person who dies in this type of an earthquake would actually be considered a martyr uh, in rank in the eyes of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so it's very dangerous to make those statements we are saddened by what has happened and this is from what i see one of the worst that i've known in my life uh, i was very saddened by some muslims saying no this is the punishment of allah that is unacceptable you can't say that and if you if you have said it you know you need to seek the forgiveness of allah almighty because any calamity anything that strikes uh, there are so many people who were so close to Allah Almighty who were struck by the same. Uh, you cannot say that that was a punishment. In fact, they returned to Allah as martyrs. And then there may have been some people who, must, who might have been uh, within the disobedience of the Almighty and so on. Uh, for them, it's a different scenario. But nonetheless, whenever a calamity of this nature strikes, we must give people hope. We must reach out to them. We must make sure that we've done something tremendous for them to the best of our ability if you notice each time there is a disaster the next disaster seems to eclipse the previous one in magnitude and that's something worth noting because as time is passing it's becoming even worse so we ask allah almighty to help us to guide us uh, and may allah almighty grant us ease and goodness